I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a very first look at Apple's new line of MacBook Pro laptops. It's been a while since we've seen a MacBook Pro refresh, although at first glance you might think these look pretty much the same as the uh, MacBook Pros you already know, and that's because on the outside they actually are pretty much the same. Uh, there are, however, a lot of big changes on the inside. Most importantly, these guys have all switched on the 13-inch, the 15-inch, and the 17-inch to Intel's second generation of Core i-series processors. That's what was previously codenamed Sandy Bridge, and that gives you a lot of advantages in terms of uh, processing power, battery life, and the integrated graphics that come built in with these. Uh, it's Intel's HD 3000 integrated graphics, which is actually a pretty decent step up from previous generation Intel integrated graphics. Then on the 15 inch like this model and the 17 inch, uh, there's also discrete graphics, although here's another big switch. Instead of NVIDIA discrete graphics, they use AMD discrete graphics. That's kind of a major change there. And of course, the other big MacBook Pro news is a brand new port right on the side here. That is the Thunderbolt port, and that is the uh, final brand name of Intel's LightPeak technology. It's a new super fast type of connection meant for pretty much anything, storage, peripherals, even displays. In fact, it looks exactly like the old mini display port jack, and in fact works as a mini display port jack as well. Uh, you can just plug a mini display port uh, jack in there and hook up your monitor, or you'll be able to plug in Thunderbolt peripherals. When they're available, Apple says you should expect some around springtime 2011. Uh, we've seen a couple of prototypes, uh, but we don't really know what the final products are going to be. I bet they'll be very hard drive related right now. We've already heard rumors of uh, high-end digital cameras coming out with Thunderbolt ports on them and that can do uh, theoretically like 10 megabits per second uh, bi-directional so you know great if you're let's say editing a lot of HD video or something like that. Apple has a bunch of software upgrades, cool new features uh, that are going to be ready for MacBooks probably closer to the summer. Uh, one cool new feature is FaceTime. It's an app in the new Mac App Store. It's 99 cents, and it works just like FaceTime on your iPhone or your iPod Touch, or you know maybe your future iPad 2, in that it uses the uh, 720p camera built right into the uh, MacBook Pro and lets you call up any other MacBook that has FaceTime or uh, an iPhone 4 or an iPod Touch that has FaceTime. So let's call our uh, buddy Scott right now. Why, hello, Scott. How you doing? Hey, Dan. What's up? I'm calling Scott, who's on another MacBook Pro right now. Um, let's uh, switch to the horizontal view, kind of like we were uh, flipping our iPhones on their sides. Can you do that? Sure. Whoa. Oh, look at that. All right, now I'm going to go full screen over here, and uh, for a full screen video chat, uh, it's actually pretty impressive. How are things doing uh, down at the other end of the office? Hey, things down at the office are great. How are things over in the TV studio? Pretty exciting. I bet everyone wants to hear about Thunderbolt, don't they? They are all chanting Thunderbolt. Excellent. As is standard operating procedure for Apple, they've kept the price at about the same while upgrading the components. So the 13 still start at $1199. This is the high-end 15-inch model. Uh, that's actually $2199, and the 17 start at $2499. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is a first look at the new 15-inch MacBook Pro.